Hi guys, this is Lauren Thinamore, the marketing specialist here at the Brimfield Chamber. I am here with Michael um, Navarro, and he is the program coordinator for senior services. And we are going to chat a little bit more about the upcoming resource fair. Um, so Michael, let's go ahead and get started. Um, this resource fair is coming up pretty soon. Um, can you go ahead and tell me a little bit more about what it is and why you guys decide to do this? So thanks for having me, Lauren. I appreciate it. The resource fair is something that we do every year. Essentially, we want to help the older adults here in Bloomfield address their aging needs. So we have various businesses that come together to promote their services and what they do. Uh, it's something that we do every year. October um, has been the month that we have done it for five plus years. So uh, I can be more excited about it. We got some big changes too, which I'm excited to talk about. I'm super excited to see what the resource fair holds. And um, I was just kind of wondering what ages you guys are trying to um, like market to, like what ages do you want to attend the fair? Yeah, that's a great question. So senior services tries to be inclusive as possible. You know, we work with older adults. Older adults for us is 60 and above. Uh, but, you know, if someone's going to come with their grandma, we're not going to turn them away. Or if a caretaker, you know, is 40 and is accompanying, you know, a 70-year-old, we won't, you know, turn them away. The more, the merrier. And, of course, Broomfield older adults are a priority, but we also welcome older adults outside of Broomfield, you know, so those in Westminster Thornton are also welcome to attend. Awesome. Good to know. Good to know. Um, so I guess, you know, the next question would be, you know, when, when is this resource fair and where, where will it be located? Yeah. Two of the most important questions. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> podcast. So it's at the Broomfield Community Center and the Broomfield Community Center is located on 280 Spader Way. It's a brand new building we opened up in 2020. For those who've never been, it's a good time to get your foot in the door. It's, it's a lovely building. The city spent 48 million. So uh, it is please a, come it and see. Great building. <laughs> it is very nice for sure. So it's October 21st from 7.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay, so I know in the past um, people have paid money to join this resource fair. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the price this year? Yeah, so that's one of the big changes that we make. So this year it's going to be free. And in addition to that, no registration is required. So in the years past, that costs money to attend. Uh, but we want to make it as accessible as possible for everyone. So we did away with the cost and registration is no longer necessary. Uh, we're really hoping by doing away with those two things, we'll have uh, more people attend than last year. <clears throat> yeah, I think I think so. Um, I think it might be a little bit difficult for people to, you know, get onto the computer and um, register. So I think you oh, know, yeah. making it free and making um, no registration possible or making no registration is is going to be really helpful for sure. Yeah, absolutely. You know, older adults have a tough time with technology. Uh, and that has been a barrier in the past. And, you know, that's a big reason why we opted to do away with it. Good, good. So um, you mentioned some vendors are going to be there. Um, can, you, can you tell me more about what type of vendors will be there and like what um, the participants will um, can expect from these vendors? Yeah, absolutely. So vendors... Uh, will range from healthcare, housing, legal, a couple of nonprofits who will be in attendance you may have heard of is Colorado Legal Services, Benefits and Action, Senior Resources of Bloomfield, Colorado Legal Services, of course, helps with legal matters, Benefits and Action helps with Medicare and open enrollment, and Senior Resources, who's a great nonprofit of ours, they will be there to promote what they do. So. Um, that's on the nonprofit side. On the for-profit side, we'll have Natural Funeral, Griswold Home Care, Kaiser Permanente. The goal in, when inviting and secure these vendors is to make sure that they have services um, that the older adults need. You know, so for example, Medicare is pretty huge and open enrollment. 
Uh, it's very challenging, very complex. So we invited several businesses that could help with that process and understanding what it is uh, that Medicare is. Definitely, for sure. And um, to kind of follow up on that question, um, you you kind of mentioned that there's going to be breakout rooms. Um, can you kind of tell me a little bit more about what those breakout rooms <clears throat> will entail and like what, you know, these participants can learn from these breakout rooms? Yeah. So in the years past, we had six breakout sessions. This year, we added two more, something that is extremely awesome. Uh, we're going to have one on telemedicine that's going to be done by Senior Planet, who's a division of ARP. You know, it'll explain to the older adults, hey, this is how you can hop on a computer or your phone and access your doctor. Um, once again, back to technology. We, yeah. we know technology is tough for older adults, so we kind of want to coach them and empower them. I'm excited yeah, exactly. for that breakout session. Uh, we'll have another one done by the natural funeral. Uh, they do end of life services, so cremation. Um, the big thing for them is their end of life services are ecological. So there's water cremation. So it kind of offers you a, a different perspective and view and options. Hey, this is what's available. Um, and this is what this business can do. So awesome. I'm only going to give you those two. I yeah, keep for the, sure. But the rest of them, I want to, you know, leave to be a surprise. There's good ones. For sure. For sure. Without a doubt. Um, awesome. For sure. I mean, those two sound awesome as it is. So, you know. I'm sure the the rest will be super fun too. <laughs> so. Yeah, absolutely. We worked pretty hard to secure all the speakers. Um, so I think people will be excited once once they're here that day. Good, good. So I heard a family hearing and Broomfield County Health will be there. Um, what will they be kind of helping out with and like what will they be offering? This is another big change for us. In the years past, we haven't had any medical services. Uh, Family Hearing, their current partner of ours, they're actually here at the Broomfield Community Center on the fourth Tuesday of every month. And they'll take a look at your hearing aid and they'll kind of say, hey, it still looks good. Or, hey, you might need another one. They'll do some earwax removal. Uh, so they'll be doing the same type of services at the fair that day. Uh, so we can be more excited to have nice. them. Did it's I free? Did you say it's free? We, well, it's free. <laughs> it's completely free. <laughs> uh, and Broomfield Public Health. So they'll be on site offering COVID, booster shots, as well as flu shots. Awesome. Flu shots, it's depending on the supply, uh, but they're going to be doing both. So that's something that is awfully convenient. Um, you know, you could come here that day and just get a flu shot and then bounce over and have your yeah. hearing checked. Uh, the goal is, you know, to make it a wild balanced day to help people with their health, mental and physical, to help them with, you know, resources. So we try to do as much as possible as we could. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. That's it's an awesome resource to have. You know, even if they just show up and get their flu shot and their hearing aids checked, you know, it's it's just a great resource. So absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Cool. Well, um, Michael, is there um, is there anything else that you would uh, like to share about the resource fair or uh, senior service uh, services? Yeah. So I'll kind of just give a, a brief overview. This fair is set to start at seven thirty. Uh, for the early birds and for those who want breakfast, they're welcome to come at that time. We're going to serve a continental breakfast and it will be free. After the breakfast, there'll be a keynote speaker. I'm extremely excited for the keynote speaker. Her name is Janine Vanderberg and she's from, she's the executive director of Changing the Narrative. So her keynote is going to focus on aging. You know, when we think of aging, a lot of people think it's a bad thing or, you know, once you start to get up there in years, it's all downhill. But Janine's going to come and challenge that thinking. Um, <clears throat> and I think that's going to be awesome. And then she's also going to talk about how you combat, how you can combat ageism. So I think perhaps I'm looking forward to that the most. 
Uh, and then once that's over, then our official fair will start or the vendor start time um, will happen. And that's at 9 a.m. And that's when you could go to our gym and check out all the businesses, go to our breakout sessions. Uh, it's going to be a fun filled day, um, you know, and you don't have to come for the whole thing. Someone can just come at 10 and go to the gym and say, OK, here are a few businesses. These are the resources I need. Thanks, we appreciate you. Um, or they could come, you know, for a breakout session that they find appealing to them. Um, you know, maybe to natural funerals or senior planets. Um, one doesn't necessarily have to come to the whole resource spectrum. Although I would, although that's what I want and that's what I would love. Uh, it's been a lot of hard work and planning. Uh, and we're excited this year for the big changes. Yeah, no, a lot of those big changes sound super, super awesome. And I think it will uh, turn out pretty great. So Me as well. And last but not least, did I mention it's free? And it's free. Yes, it's free. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for uh, joining me today with this podcast. And um, it was great learning a little bit more about the resource fair and senior services. And, you know, I'm hoping that this event, you know, takes off and, you know, it's, it's free. So let's, <laughs> it's going to be great. So. Thank you for having me, Lauren. I appreciate it. Uh, so don't forget, mark your calendars, October 21st, 7.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Blinko Community Center.